Hey there, Fight here with a more or less full review of Ascend Pages. And I say more or less because there are a couple of small things where I haven't checked out the tutorial videos. So what I'm going to do now is create a new site from scratch so you see how this all works together. And whilst my very slow internet connection, well, you know, there you go, uh, all kinds of kids, teenagers and wives using the internet at the same time, I'll quickly tell you about the, the tutorials. They are actually needed. You need to go and watch the tutorial videos, otherwise you're not going to have very much fun. And the reason for that is that there are a number of sort of basic philosophies of how these pages or this site hangs together. So a couple of uh, con concepts you need to understand. I will try to explain them, but really you must go and watch those tutorial videos. They are very, very short. They're to the point and explain exactly what needs to be done. But, you know, do yourself a favor. Don't jump in and try to build something. So here we go. Uh, there is a blank canvas and I can now start building. So let's lo start looking at the first philosophy of this whole thing. The idea is that you have building blocks and where you find them is up here. So you've got templates, which is basically whole pages. And then they consist of blocks. These individual blocks are... Um, maybe we'll just look at one for example a header okay so a header block rather than be uh, then being just the headline or just the menu has already everything in it so here we go you know that's a header that has a background it has a headline it has a video uh, it's, if we scroll further down here's one that has a menu in it uh, here is one that has uh, already some some kind of you know whatever those boxes are down there so we're going to do, uh, actually, I'm just going to grab one of these here. Let's say this one here. So it has a header. Or again, it's a menu in there. There's some text in here. Okay, thank you very much. So the idea is that your pages consist of blocks. And those blocks, then, actually, if we go out here, those blocks have individual in them components. So we can then add uh, components where the grid one is a very special component. The grid is basically just a layout uh, element, if you like. So the... The big promise on their sales page is that, hey, look, you know, it's as easy as swiping, you know, dragging and dropping stuff in there. And that is actually true. These blocks are beautiful and they make life, uh, life so much easier. So if you just want to go and you know, grab anyone, which one's the one I said? OK, you know, let's use this one here. You just pull it over here. It goes wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And there you go. Now you, you, know, you can easily check out your logo. You have a, you know, the whole menu thing up here. Uh, button there, you've got some text here, and now I can easily start adding stuff to it. I will also in a second demonstrate the bit where I haven't watched the video yet, where I get a little bit confused. Whilst we're here, let me highlight something really, really cool. And that is, when you look at this here, you know, we've now created a menu. And if I go on here and say, look, I want to have a link to different pages for this particular button here. I click on link. And you can now choose a page. At the moment, I only have one page in the site, so there you, therefore you can't link to anything. But this is absolute gold. I mean, you know, I don't know of any other page builder that does it in such a good way here. I, my, my personal geek style uh, or geek friendly uh, page builder for single landing pages is Convertry. Uh, absolutely love it. You have lots of flexibility. It just fits my personal style of doing things. But the moment you want to do something a little bit more complicated and add extra pages, it's a pain in the backside over there. And here, this is going you know, to even in um, lead pages, etc. It, it's, it's always a pain in the in the rear whereas this one here you know you choose your page where you want to go or even choose a block within this page where you want to jump to and thank you very much uh, alternatively of course you just put a URL in there all right so that as an aside that is one of the highlights of Ascend Pages it's definitely worth considering or worth keeping in mind if you're looking for something that is not just for simple landing pages but maybe something a little bit more complex than that here, let me now use this also as a as a way of illustrating the one bit I don't uh, or haven't quite figured out yet, and that is if I now go on here and I delete this particular header. Uh, hang on, click. No, no, no. Here we leave me alone. There you go. So I now remove the entire header. Yes, I want to delete this entire block. It goes away, and there's now an empty container. This here kind of explains the philosophy behind it. If I have some space here, 
I need to first tell the system what kind of layout I want. And that is done by adding a component down here and then a grid. So, you know, you have all these different distributions here. And let's say I wanted to put a headline in there, just a headline. Then, of course, I'd use the full width um, grid. Now, this is the bit where I haven't watched the tutorial video yet. And as a result, it looks a bit odd when I do it. And here's what I mean by odd. If you look at this grid down here, it's not full width, whereas this, or you know, it's it's a certain width that goes down to here and down to here, whereas the one on top is wider. I mean, maybe what I haven't done is you know play with these things here, margins. But I, <laughs> that's the one thing I still need to look how to make this the same width as this. Anyway, once you've got that, once you've told the system what size component you want in there, then now we can put something in there. So for example, a heading. So I grab a headline, put it in here, thank you very much. It's a heading, and you know, just for kicks, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this page as, a, uh, as an example, or as a holding place for this video you're watching right now. This is my video review of Ascend Pages. And of course, uh, you know, this is not a good color scheme because I have uh, dark on sort of a gray background. So I'm going to go and change the color to white. I'm going to make the font a little bit bigger, 56. And I'm going to go and make this centered apply changes. There you go. Wonderful. Alrighty, let's say I wanted to have a video in here. Well, you know, by now you should be able to guess. Well, video is in here, media. You basically say, okay, I want a YouTube video. I'm gonna put this in here above the text. And then you basically click on here and insert the YouTube video. I'm gonna replace th this with the one you are watching at this uh, at the moment, right? So uh, that'll be the review video at some point. Then let's say, okay, I, you know, uh, actually, what I'm going to do is pause this quickly. No, I'm not going to pause this here. Look, you know, clickly, clickly, click, click. And I want to change this. If you're interested in ascend, ascend pages. Um, actually, I'm going to leave this here for the time being to demonstrate a little bit of an odd effect. Okay, so as you can see. Here is a headline or you know, some text that is of a certain width and there is some other text down below. Now, watch the size of this video and the size of this box up here. Right? If I now go and say, I don't want this text down here, I'm gonna just delete that box, delete the box. Now, suddenly this whole thing has shrunk and it's shrunk to the width of this here. That is to do with the you know, the one video I haven't watched yet on how to adjust the sizes uh, and, and the width of these things. So if I were to go in here and just type in enough text to make this big enough, yeah, uh, uh, you know, click on the uh, button below. So now it's gone back to this full size. I don't think it's a bug of this. I just need to go and watch that video. So anyway, so for now I want to go uh, add a button. Uh, I go and find a button and I go for a large button and drag that down here. Thank you very much. Down below, large button obviously is not a very meaningful uh, text. So I'm gonna go and change this to, yes, I want to know more about ascend, oops, ascend pages. And I don't want a page, I want a link, which I'll uh, apply later on, put in there, and thank you very much. Okay, there we go. That is basically as easy as it gets, right? You know, you just drag and drop, you, it's literally just pull the main components you want, these blocks over here, or you just start with complete templates where you've got, you know, almost anything, your home page and sales page and opt-in page and blah, 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 blah. Uh, but if you're building this block by block, it, it, it really is, you know, grab the block you want. And that is, in my opinion, initially I wasn't quite sure what they mean. It's like, you know, what's so special about it? But having these individual blocks is really, really nice. So if I now want to, for example, uh, have a sign up box down below, and this is the key thing. This sign up box, you know, any of the ones I, I'm gonna choose now. So let's say I want this one, I'm gonna clean one down here. It doesn't go in here. I mean, I can't drop it anywhere, but as you can see, suddenly there's a white box at the top or, down here, so I can drop it down below or above. 
And that's exactly where it is going to appear. So these ready-made blocks are one on top of the other. Now this brings me back, or not doesn't bring me back, brings me again to the the one of the core concepts underlying this whole system, or the philosophy if you like. So what we've got here is, you know, not only the width of these boxes is kind of predetermined, but also the height. So if you were to add or wanted to add a ton of more content in here, so for example, what I could do is like, you know, from this block, I could select this opt-in box and pull it up here. So, you know, I could do that and pull it in there. It'll obviously adjust to the width and the background uh, as you'd expect. As a result, it looks a little bit ridiculous, but also because now I've got far more content in the box than you know, there's space for it, this video has been pushed up. So in this case, because I'm using a ready-made block, I can't go in and you know, add content ad infinitum. You might consider that a limitation, uh, for example, in Convertry, you know, you don't have that thing, you just drag and, and drop and, and add more stuff in it. But of course, it's a totally different philosophy. This here really is about taking the ready-made blocks, and there are a ton of them, and just filling in the content very, very quickly and assembling your pages that way. So big picture, if we now step out and compare this a little bit with Convertry. Convertry, and I've say, said this in many reviews before, is a lot more about the fine tuning, the fine control, uh, even down to the level of, you know, I want this element to appear at ex exactly this pixel uh, precise position on mobile phones, where it's on desktop, it's over here, etc., etc. Whereas here, this is more about speed of implementation. Hey, I you know, just want a landing page. Let me look in here, which one of these do I like? I want to have a new hair or you know, features. Okay, which one do I like? Da, 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 da. Different features, one with pictures, thank you very much, done. Right? And then you don't go and mess with that template, you just go and uh, exchange different elements from there. So I'm gonna pull this down. Now, this here also illustrates, I guess, um, so you know, now it's fixed again, so thank you very much. Um, illustrates one of the, I don't know, it's, it's not a shortcoming. It's it's something that takes getting used to. I haven't found an undo button. So if you do something, it's no major drama. Either you save now you know, from time to time, and then if you don't like it, uh, thank you very much, you just go back to the last save thing. Or um, you just drag it back. It's not a major thing, but initially it's like, I'm going control Z, what happens? Maybe there is a control Z, I don't know. So for the purpose of this here, by the way, you know, if you then want to go and do the opt-in thing, you go click on here, thank you very much. And uh, there's the form, you dump in your content in here and you're done, uh, you know, your autoresponder, the, the post form thing, whatever it's called. So uh, whole blocks, very easy. If I don't like it, thank you very much. I'm just gonna delete this, thank you very much. And it's gone. So what I'm gonna do now is basically render this video and stick it together for you to you know to watch on a page that looks a little bit like this. So you can see this whole thing in action. Alrighty, stepping out, summary. Uh, absolutely love the fact that you've got this block builder type thing. Um, big difference to, for example, lead pages, which had the templates. It's certain, you know, don't get me wrong, lead pages has beautiful, beautiful lead pages, but if you want to go and, uh, you know, you always have to start with a ready-made sales page and then start removing all kinds of stuff you don't want. Whereas here, it's as simple as going in, well, you know, I want this element, I want this element, and, and I want this element, and you pull them together, and it's it's really like a big, it's not a jigsaw, but you, you know, you, you mix and match, it's beautiful. Absolutely love that part. Next up, I guess, is the whole menu thing, being able to select pages and go, this is how I want to connect things together. Again, great, great, great feature. Absolutely love that. Of course, my recommendation is you go and, unlike myself, you go and watch all the tutorial videos because I haven't figured out how to do the, you know, how to, for example, adjust the width of this box here. I want that to be the same width as the box down below. I need to go, maybe it's here. Maybe it is here. I'm not gonna fiddle around with this right now. Um, but so far, I haven't found anything I managed to break. So that's pretty good. And the great news is, and I think I've said that in my initial review, you can not only download these pages to your own server, but you can also you know, dump them onto AWS, for example, Amazon's hosting, 
with direct integration. So you can go in in the dashboard, say, you know, where do you want this? You put in your Amazon credentials and it uploads and thank you very much, it's all done for you. Because that whole uploading thing with AWS normally is a, is a pain in the backside. So all in all, initially when I looked at this, I was thinking, hmm, you know, why do we have yet another page builder? And turns out this is a pretty solid package. Really, really like it, especially at the insane pricing. I think it's a one-off fee, uh, which is very, very reasonable for what you've got here. So if you're in the market for a page builder, I mean, I've looked at a lot of them. And although it doesn't have quite the flexibility of, for example, Convertery, which is my you know, my personal favorite because it fits my personal style and I guess my OCD when it comes to you know having ultimate control, I'm actually going to buy my own copy of this here because I like the ease with which you can pull these blocks in and just put everything together. Alrighty, cheers, bye. Oh, by the way, yes, there's a button down below. If you're interested, it looks like this. Says, I want to know more about the send pages. That takes you straight to their sales page. Alrighty, cheers, bye.